the alchemist scene 11 the boy entered the crystal merchant shop and he saw a notice board saying so many languages are spoken in this shop the boy asked the owner the way the crystals are looking nobody is going to want to buy them can i clean it the shop owner kept silent immediately sindiago pulled out his jacket and he started cleaning the crystals in the window and while he was doing two new customers entered the shop and they purchased crystals the owner felt the boy is a good omen and once the cleaning is over he asked the boy what do you want and he said i will clean all the crystals by morning will you give something to eat and then the owner took the boy to the nearby cafe and they started eating since the owner felt the boy is a good omen he asked are you ready to work for me the boy surprised and so happy said yes i need to make money so that i can go to pramits now the owner laughed and he said even if you work for one year in my shop making good commission selling every crystal still you need to make money still you need to make lots of money and borrow money to go to pramits it is more than 1000 kilometers from here to pramits the boy's heart went dead he was so silent that he cannot realize what is happening outside even though the market is giving producing lots of noise the owner noticed that the happiness which the boy had before is totally missing now the owner asked him again are you interested to work or if you want i can give you some money you can go back to your country santiago thought for a moment and then he said yes i'm going to work because i'm going to buy some sheep end of scene 11 scene 12 Santiago started calculating the amount of money he made in the last one month in the crystal shop and he realized he need to work for another 12 months for him to buy some good number of sheep. So he went and told the owner, I want to display our crystals outside the shop. Now the owner started saying, if we keep it outside, somebody will come and it will break. The boy said, when I was a shepherd, some snakes comes, some wolves comes, and some sheep die. But that is how the life is. Now the owner kept silent for a moment. He asked him, why do you even want to go to Pramit? It is just a pile of stones. You can make it in the backyard. For that, the boy replied, are you not having any dreams to travel? Now the owner said, Every Muslim have got five obligations. One is to believe that there is only one God who is Allah. And number two, to help, to do charity. Number three, fast during Ramadan. Number four, to pray five times. He kept quiet without telling the fifth obligation. Santiago asked him, what is the fifth obligation? He said, Every Muslim has got an obligation to travel to Mecca once in a lifetime. But you are different from me. Santiago said, why don't you travel to Mecca then? The owner said, you want your dream to be realized. But I, if I realize my dream, which is going to Mecca, the fifth obligation, then I don't have any purpose to live. So I better dream about going to Mecca. And after having this conversation, the owner agreed to display the crystals of his shop. Scene 13. Santiago started calculating the amount of money he has made in the last two months. He found that even if he is working for another just six months, he will be having money to buy 60 sheep. He was so happy about himself. And while he was doing this calculation, he noticed two people coming outside his shop and they were talking to each other saying, I needed to have some tea. I'm feeling so thirsty. 
Now, Santiago realized this omen. And he went to the owner and he told the owner, why not we sell tea in our crystal wares? The owner told him, it's a good idea. If we do that, the shop is going to expand. That is good, right? Asked Santiago. But the shop owner said, I'm not used to change. But it's a good change. Your shop will expand. You will make a lot of money, said Santiago. And for that, the owner said, Every blessing received, if not received, it is a curse. Now he told the boy, Santiago, you are a blessing to me. You are giving me an idea. And now if I don't do your idea, it means it's a curse. So I'm agreeing to this idea. So with this, I'm completing three scenes. Let me know what is it one thing which you liked about this story. And as always, sharing is caring. Bye.